Celine and welcome back to my channel. So since my last video talking about the new Erin Condren planners, I got really inspired to start using my journals a little bit more and also just to decorate them and plan ahead for this week. So I am going to share with you guys my layout for a plan with me video. I love plan with me videos. It gives me so many ideas of the way that I can incorporate like stickers and the way that I can make myself more organized in a fun way. So I'll be sharing that with you guys over on my Erin Erin Condren horizontal is it no on my vertical planner I almost forgot I've been using it a lot more lately this is one of my favorite spreads that I did this week and I love how it turned out and I really like the happy planner stickers so I went back to Michaels and I wanted to find some more of the booklets from the happy planner because I think they do such a great job with their graphics and even though their boxes are a little bit longer than the Erin Condren boxes they're still the same width so I was still able to apply those same stickers onto my planner and then I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do this week. I also want to share with you guys what I've been doing with those journals from Erin Condren. I placed them inside of this planner instead just because it's a little bit more fun. It has a really cute graphic and I couldn't wait to use this planner. It's from the Planner Society and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to show you guys how you can decorate pretty much any notebook or journal that you want to make it a little bit more inspiring and fun. And now let's get started. So I went to Michael's and I found these stickers right here. They're so cute. I love the foil on there and they were quite inexpensive everything was 40% off at Michaels if you guys are interested in any planner stuff go now don't miss out on the sale so this one came with four different kinds of sticker sheets and then there was two in each one so that's what I'm going to be using and then I'm also going to be using these right here which came in another little sticker kit I also picked up some more sticker books from the Happy Planner because these are just so cute. I showed you guys in a haul on Instagram Stories Live and you guys really like these. These are just colored boxes and then over on this side over here we just have some really cute decorative boxes ones. Like oh my gosh look at these colors they're so nice. As you can tell I already started using some of them over here. Those I found at Michael's and then I went to Joanne Fabrics and I saw this one right here. And this is a sticker book by a designer I'm guessing because I saw Heidi Swap in one of these. But there's no actual brand of the sticker book. It just says hashtag sticker book. And so I'm guessing they collaborated with different brands and the owner to do their own kind of sticker. So this one right here really caught my eye. And I mentioned that the reason why I gravitated towards this one a lot was because they had sketches which makes the stickers look a little bit more sophisticated. And I'm also going to be using some of my favorites from my sticker shop because I love these little washi strips right here. I'm thinking of making more in different patterns because these sell really well and I just really enjoy the different patterns on them. They're so pretty. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to do a voiceover over this because I feel like it's going to get noisy here. Whenever you get your new stickers, you get so excited to start decorating them and start peeling them off. And I was so disappointed with these two sheets because they were not cut. And I was like, what? That's crazy. They were not cut at all whatsoever. So I had to switch over to the other designs that came within that pack. But the other ones were just thrown away because I couldn't cut them, which sucked. And because they're so thin and they're like washy transparent sticker paper it was so hard for me to cut them out and then peeling them off so I was like you know what I'm just gonna emphasize and then I just started decorating the borders with the other washi tape that came with that set all right so I was looking through the happy planner sticker book and I found these gorgeous graphics that matched the other set with the rose gold I just love how the gold foil and the rose gold foil really stands out and we went with the same theme which is just like black and white and a light pink those have been my favorite lately I've noticed that I've gravitated towards those a lot Next week is going to be a really busy week because that is when I have to get everything done before our trip to Italy. So I am going to do a photo shoot on Wednesday with a friend of mine who's a photographer. And I'm so excited about it because this is specifically for like Instagram to get some really good pictures up for you guys, to get some good content up, and also take the opportunity to take like some profile pictures whenever I am working or I'm being presented somewhere they have really good headshots of me 
Then since I'm going to be in the city already, I also have a facial appointment. I love getting like skincare treatments on my face just because, you know, I'm not getting any younger. I'm going to hit 30 next year and I want to be able to still like really take care of my skin, especially now. So I'm just planning ahead. I'm taking some stickers from some that I made. These are personalized for myself because I often upload and edit videos. Let me know if you guys want to see these on the sticker shop and if I get many requests then I'll go ahead and put them up there and on Tuesday we have a video schedule to upload a clean and cook with me. Something a little bit different, something new which I think you guys really enjoy. And then I also have a blog post that I'm going to post on this specific day. So I got to make sure because it's going to be scheduled and I want to make sure that it goes up at the right time. I love these little washi strips. These are also up on the shop and I just restocked on these. So there's plenty more. These are very popular and I'm also loving this sticker booklet from the Happy Planner. I am so nervous for Thursday. I made a hair appointment to dye my hair and I was going back and forth with what I wanted because I don't want to get it damaged again like last time but I want something different so I think I'm just going to lighten the ends of my hair a little bit and put like low lights on there. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. Should I do it? Should I um, do something different? I don't know. I'm excited. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't told the hairstylist, so we'll find out. And then of course we upload on Friday, sometimes not until the weekend, but I want to make sure that all the content that I create is something that I love and then sometimes it just takes me a little bit longer to get it up and that's okay. Also, on Friday, we have to get our irrigation system winterized, which is something that I didn't do last year, and one of our pipes broke. It busted open, and there was water everywhere, so I'm like, I have to make sure that I do it early this year so that does not happen. So, we made an appointment for that, and they're going to come and, like, winterize the system. I think they're going to take out, like, all the water from the, um, the pipes there's a lot of blank spaces I'll just start adding stickers on there if I know it's not gonna be a busy day then I'll go ahead and start just filling it out also on the sidebar I like to put the days of the week because I work out about four to five days a week just depending and I like to keep track of it that way it like keeps me motivated to keep going back because if I miss a day I'm like oh no I have to go back the next day because I have to make sure that I work out and I also like to plan out my meals that way I can prepare for the week and I make a better effort at planning healthier meals because I could see it all in a list and I'm like, okay, maybe that's not so healthy. Maybe I should incorporate more vegetables in tomorrow's dinner. So it helps me out a lot. And now I'm just filling in the blanks with some boxes because eventually I know that they're going to be filled up, but that way I don't have to grab my sticker book back throughout the week and I could just fill in those blanks and then on the weekends usually I just spend it with my family so there's not much planning there but this is how it turned out Are you guys ever like cooking dinner or you're trying to fall asleep or you're in the shower and you think of like amazing ideas I always have to write these things down because if I don't then I'll stress about not remembering what it was that I was thinking about and I often just think about um, videos that I can come up with and also whenever there's a brand that wants to work with me and they want to um, pitch me for an idea of like what the video is going to be like I have to come up with like a concept and I have to come up with like ideas of what the video is going to look like so I'm like thinking of things in my head as I'm showering and I'm like oh my god I have to write that down so that's why I have these little journals and I decorated every single page with a bunch of stickers and just fun things and even my to-do list for the week so I got this little guy when I went to Go Wild last year and I sat at the Planner Society sponsored table and it came along with so many different planners. I love this. I think it's so pretty and I was so excited to use it. Even though the Erin Condren inserts don't actually fit completely in there, I still like it. You could barely tell 
that it's not covering it completely. But I actually placed an order for a Foxy Fix planner and it was a little pricey but I'm excited and I can't wait to share that one with you guys. I personalized it with my initials and everything so I'm so excited for that to come in. So I've been using this one a lot lately just to write things down. Like I said, I have to write things out in order for me to really plan something out. It gives me a better visual of projects that are coming up. On that same trip to Michael's, I also found these markers, which I thought would make a really cool effect in the pages if it looks like watercolors on there. I was like, it's going to look so pretty. Some of the markers were a little bit too dark and heavy, and I didn't like them. So I'm trying to use the pastel ones. I'm like, hopefully these look nice and it doesn't look sloppy. I really like how it turned out overall just because I feel like... It lets my creativity out like even though I write boring lists this makes it a little bit more fun and and makes me look forward to opening it up and then reading those boring lists and getting things done so this is how it turned out I love it it's so pretty and simple but sometimes I just have like a to-do list for the week that I need to write down this is another one and these were some ideas that I had for a video coming up and I just really love how it turned out. So that is everything for this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Likes always help my channel because it lets YouTube know that people are enjoying it and they're more engaged and it's most likely to pop up on other people's feed under suggested videos or recommended videos and it really helps me out. So I would really appreciate it if you stuck through this whole video. That means you liked it and also subscribe. That way you guys don't miss out on any more videos and I'll talk to you guys next time. Muchos besos. Mwah.